hey guys in today's video we are going to see a couple of ways how you can uh, download the configuration file from the audio goods web page so basically this configuration file is a backup of your uh, configuration which you can uh, download on daily basis or as and when needed so this configuration file can help you to you know let's say if uh, your uh, you have uh, messed up with the configuration and you want to restore with the, restore that configuration before uh, you messed up or uh, before it was working. So in such case, right, what you can do is you can uh, always go ahead and uh, restore the INF file if you have already taken a backup and that will, you know, restore the configuration as it was earlier. So uh, if you could navigate to the uh, web page of your uh, decodes and then if you go to setup, uh, if you go to administration and come under maintenance and configuration file here. So if you save this INF file, so what it'll do is it'll basically save a INA file from your uh, server. So other way around is like uh, you can uh, also, you know, save the configuration package in the system uh, from uh, configuration package from your system or from the server to your system. And if let's say if there is a requirement like you need to take a backup on daily basis and this is going to be a regular task, right? In such case, uh, always taking a backup from the INA file is not feasible, um, from the web page is not feasible. So in such cases, you can always uh, write a Python script and you can always uh, run this in a task scheduler, which will uh, always, you know, on daily basis, uh, fetch the INA file, provided that you have added a recurring task for the backup. So the uh, Python file, which I'm talking about right now, which is uh, which is created by me. And uh, this is something like you are going to import few of the request modules and then you are also going to import the time. And uh, here in this section, you are going to ignore the SSL warning. So some cases, let's say uh, in this case, right? If I'm trying to, you know, uh, access the, uh, my uh, Python script is trying to access the uh, web page, right? It'll get some error uh, because this is not uh, signed at this moment. If you see, if I try to access this from the, uh, from the IP address, if I try to access this from the FKDN, uh, there is no problem at all. Uh, so I can also put FKDN instead, but uh, at this moment, uh, just to showcase uh, this lab, I have put this uh, IP address instead of FKDN. So I've also added uh, a couple of lines which will ignore the SSL warning. And next is I'm getting the time uh, in the Asia time zone, uh, which is Kolkata time zone in the IST format, and I'm reading that time. So the reason I'll tell you the reason why I'm reading this time uh, for this uh, in this Python script in a moment. So next is uh, I'm using this URL. This URL is nothing but my audio codes uh, web page uh, server URL. And here I'm, uh, you know, I'm making a get request. And basically uh, the time which I mentioned you here, what I'm saying is like, okay, you, uh, uh, you know, um, launch this uh, particular URL, get this request from the URL. And then what you do is if you see a success response, then you write the configuration in an INI file. But before you write the configuration, you prefix the current, uh, you prefix the URL. So which means it is going to prefix this particular URL, 192.168.1.1, and then put a underscore, and then it is going to put a current date and time. So which means uh, it is going to uh, see what time is it right now. So it is going to get the current time and put the current time in the file name, and then it'll pref uh, it'll also uh, you know add underscore backup dot inf file uh, configuration in the configuration. So let's say if for some reasons, uh, if the backup is unsuccessful, right? So it'll give, it'll say you like the backup has failed. In case the backup is successful, it will say you the backup has been successful. So let's uh, try with a uh, error code. Like let's say if I change the password for some reasons, if I use the wrong password or wrong username, and I try to run this file, it is going to give me an error. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to run this Python get INI. So if you see here, uh, it says like a backup is field with an error code, status of 401, error description. It says rest login field, and it has given me this 401 error. So 401 is states for wrong username or password, right? So the same case, if I use a wrong username, if I try to run this again, it's going to give me the same error, 401. 
So now let's say if I use the right uh, username and password. So this particular username and password which I'm going to use, it should give me uh, the file. So right now if you see, uh, in my i9 folder, right now there is only one Python script. There is no backup file at this moment. And uh, if I run this file right now, so you should be able to see the file. So I just ran the file. It says successfully backed up the i9 file. Now let's validate this in the backup file. So uh, if you see the backup file, if you notice, right, uh, this is the IP address which I mentioned, like it is going to prefix with the IP address of your audio code server URL. And then it is going to uh, say the time and uh, date and time. So let's say today is 24th of February and 2022. And it is saying you the time 00. 09. That means 12 o'clock midnight uh, at uh, 12 o'clock nine minutes. And then it is uh, also adding underscore backup to that INF file. So if you try to open this file, so this file should open in this configuration file. So uh, it is written all the configuration successfully. So uh, so this is always helpful. Let's say if you uh, want to. Uh, uh, for example, let's say if you want to schedule this on a daily basis and if you want to run the file uh, on daily basis and get the backup file always uh, as a recurring task. So you can always add this to the task scheduler and what it'll do is it'll uh, run the Python script on daily basis at your desired time, date and time. And then it is uh, going to, you know, fetch the backups on the uh, every now and then. So now uh, if I try to run the file again, it is not going to override this file because I'm uh, going to uh, take another backup with a different time. For example, right now, if you see when this backup was taken, it was 12 o'clock, nine minutes uh, in the midnight, right? Now, if I try, try to run this file, it is not going to override this file, but it is going to uh, add another file as a backup. Okay. So as I run the file, so you see the file was ran around like 24.02.2022 and uh, 0.0.11 minutes. So as you see, uh, it is going to always, uh, you know, uh, keep writing the files. So what you need to do is you need to always make sure like uh, the older files get purged after some duration. You can always, you know, run a recurring task to do that. Otherwise, you can uh, clean this uh, manually when and as and when required. Okay, so I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, let me know your uh, feedback. Uh, please share your feedback, comments, um, and let me know uh, if this is useful or not. Thank you for watching.